Der Feind operiert jetzt am nördlichen Stadtrand zwischen Frohnau und Pankow. Und im Osten ist der Feind bis zur Linie lichtenberg marlsdorf karlshorst gelangt. Mit dem Angriff Steiners wird das alles in Ordnung kommen. Steiner... Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Es bleiben im Raum Keitel, Jodel, Krebs und Burgdorf. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Wer schickt sie? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And, uh, well, the knee has been bent. At least it would appear so. And it also raises a lot of questions for me in, in, the, in the idea of marketing ploys, purposely getting canceled for profit. I'm not saying Jason Aldean did that, but it's awfully uh, predictable what happens nowadays when conservative or just really non-woke voices get censored, there is a giant uprising. A lot of financial gain gets created. Jason Aldean's song, Try That in a Small Town, which was months old, suddenly hit number two on the Billboard Hot 100. He sold tens of thousands of records, I'm certain, um, made lots of money after having his music video unceremoniously pulled from country music television for its hateful imagery, allegedly. Supposedly, people called it pro uh pro lynching with no evidence at all of that it was a completely manufactured controversy in which there was one financial beneficiary who is now behind the scenes quietly bent the knee um i'm hoping he's got no knowledge of this but we're going to get into that all after a super quick word from this video sponsor Huge shout out to this video sponsor. That's right, it's your boy Raid Shadow Legends. To introduce new and lapsed players to all the new cool features that have been added to Raid in the last year or so, they're drafting their very own Raid teacher, Professor Death Knight. Professor Death Knight here from Teleria University, who <laughs> legally not a school, with a math problem. If you create a hit mobile game in 2019, how many champions will you have now? Over 700. Not only does Raid have hundreds of rad champions, it also has 15 amazing factions. Faction Pop Quiz, can you name the latest faction? If you said the elusive Sylvan Watchers, you're right. Okay class, any questions? Who's your favorite new champion? I gotta say, Ultimate Death Knight. <laughs> He's my number one boy. I'm not supposed to have favorites, but uh, I do. Have you become friends with any of these new champions? Well, I'm friends with literally every champion. But my favorite new friend is for sure Pythion. <laughs> you ever been friends with a lizard man? Dude makes a killer quiche. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for a new challenge in Raid Shadow Legends? Well, then you're in luck. They've just added a fearsome new boss. This undead general is guarding everything you need for accessory ascension. The new feature that allows you to upgrade your gear to even greater heights. And if you somehow manage to miss out on this incredible animated limited series, Raid Call of the Arbiter, then you can check out all 10 episodes on the official Raid Shadow Legends YouTube channel now. With all this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing yet, what are you waiting for? New players use my link on the screen or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. Once you're in and crushing enemies, come find me under the name Colt's Dad, join my clan, the Quarter Pounders, and we'll be legends together. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. The game is absolutely free on Android, iPhone, tablet, even PC. Give the game a try, it helps the channel, and I think you're really gonna love it. Hey, give the game a try, it helps out the channel, it's absolutely free on Android, iOS, and desktop. <clears throat> now, Jason on Aldean's controversial song debuts at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. Try That in a Small Town is rapidly rising in the charts despite a controversial music video. The track was originally released back in May to little fanfare, but interest in the song came to a peak after the music video was released earlier this month. There is a wide, wide, enormous amount of interest around the song now that didn't exist two months ago when it was released, and now it was the sec now it's the second biggest song in the country. Billboard's executive director of music said on today, 
The music video has provoked outrage because of its pro prominently features a Tennessee courthouse, blah, blah, blah. In the court, in the video, news clips of protests and police confrontations projected onto the courthouse. Some of the footage appeared to be taken from BLM protests and other demonstrations in response to the removal of St. Floyd. When reached for comment, Aldine's team referred NBC News to the singer's 8, July 18th statement posted to Twitter, which we've already talked about. Now, the production company behind the video said in a statement to NBC, Aldine did not select the filming location for the video, and that was chosen because it's a popular place for producers to film in the area. Country Music Television pulled the video from its rotation last week. The network confirmed to NBC that it is still not being aired. Aldine addressed a controversy over the song at a concert in Cincinnati just a few days ago. Quote, I've seen a lot of stuff suggesting I'm this, suggesting I'm that. Aldine told the audience, I feel everybody's entitled to their opinion. You can think something all you want to, but it doesn't mean it's true. What I am is a proud American. I'm proud to be from here. I love our country. I want to see it restored to what it once was before all this bull ass started happening to us. I love my country. I love my family, and I'll do anything to protect that. The country star has also received support from conservative politicians like Donald Trump, who called Aldine a fantastic guy, Florida governor Ron DeSantis, who called the track a great song. We may want to use it next time we do a public event, DeSantis added. Of course, fellow moron singer uh, Cheryl Crow was among a chorus of voices denouncing the song's sentiments. Quote, there's nothing small town or American about promoting uh, people raising arms against each other. Crow wrote in July 18th tweet, really? I wonder if you were saying that when the uh, Antifa super soldiers were demanding that. When really the mainstream media was alluding to that. When politicians like Maxine Mad, Mad Maxine Waters was alluding to that, inciting that sort of thing. A Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, did you say anything then? The fact of the matter is country music, in, in particular pop country music, is widely manufactured and widely infiltrated by leftists, just like every major corporation out there. It's just a fact. I would say this is also true for rock music, rap music, all of this stuff. Most of these stars, and I'm not saying Jason Aldean is or isn't this, but I'm just saying this as, you know, as a warning. Uh, when you turn on the radio and you hear a, music, a song that is really popular... There are probably a hundred better songs than that, and uh, they're just from people who wouldn't get in line. Nowadays, you know, when I was in a band 20 years ago, 25 years ago, uh, <laughs> you, people, people in bands used to dream of making it, getting signed, getting shows. Now bands are essentially handpicked through popular television shows like American Idol. These people are handpicked to even make the competition, Right. You don't see any hard right wingers making it on American Idol, do you? Uh, you see handpicked diversity, diverse cast, and a singular progressive mindset for the most part. Sometimes you might get a religious person on there, but it's extremely rare. That way, they control the feed of talent to the talent that wins, and then they go on and get popular, and thus they control who's allowed in the gate, which means indirectly they can control who's mid out of the gate. This is true for country, rock, rap all major pop music. So, uh, you know, when you, when you look at, you know, the Dixie Chicks, you look at um, Lady Antebellum, you look at, and this is just in the country music world, you look at a lot of, you know, again, rock bands too, these pop punk bands that pop up uh, and they have like one big record and then they disappear. They're all handpicked, manufactured. These people haven't been in bands together since they were 15. They got together, they were all skilled musicians, and they play someone else's music and someone else's lyrics. This is true of almost all pop music, by the way. They don't even write their own music. Sorry, side uh, musician rant. But you also had a TikToker who, quote, debunked Jason Aldean's Try This in a Small Town video, receives hate mail. Oh my God, a TikToker who probably deserves hate mail because they are a TikToker, um, you know, uh, gets in trouble. Don't really care. By the way, if you like my videos, I hope that you do. I hope that'll earn your subscription today. There's a button down below. If you're on Rumble, it's follow. If you're on YouTube, it's subscribe. Similarly to BitChute and Odyssey. Um, it's hard enough to find my videos and for me to reach you, so I hope that I can do so. A TikTok video that's gotten 1.5 million views 
Stark found the two clips of video came from stock footage. One showed a woman flipping off police at a Labor Day event in Germany and another a commercial stock video clip of a Molotov cocktail. I think people have a right to know. A right to know that musicians, that music videos use stock footage. I, I for one, am shocked. I'm shocked, I say. Stock footage? Oh, my God. <laughs> they look exactly like I expected them to. Stock footage? That's, 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 oh my goodness. How could this have happened? Well, here's the part where I'm, I'm concerned that we're all getting played, right? At least now. I'm not saying the initial backlash and the initial response from Jason Aldean wasn't authentic, but quietly, just like a thief in the night, right? Now they are, what do they call it when um, newspapers do this? Stealth editing? That's kind of what this is, my friends. The clips removed from Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town. So now I haven't seen Jason Aldean make any comment about this. Maybe his management is doing it without his knowledge, but they've bent the knee. They've clearly removed these clips so they can get the music video back on country music television. And now it's going to be interesting, friends, friends and viewers. I want you to watch how this gets marketed, right? I want you to watch how this gets marketed because when it gets put back on a country music television, which is clearly what this is aimed to do, I want to see if they acknowledge that they stealth edited the video. <clears throat> I want to see if they, they were clearly told, hey, these are the clips that are inflammatory. Please remove them. And now they have. They've self-censored after they've made all the money, after they've gotten all the press. There is literally no reason to do this. Jason Aldean already has reaped all the rewards of being canceled. Why go back now and stealth edit it to get back on the TV? We know in the beginning of the video, so towards the beginning of the video, the original version showed an image from a Fox 5 broadcast projected onto the side of the courthouse. The revised video replaces the projected image with a short clip and close-up of a person uh, lighting a Molotov. Okay. These are, these, are, these are extremely subtle edits. The Fox 5 footage featuring protesters and the cryon reading state of emergency declared in Georgia also appeared at the 121 mark in the original video. The new version replaces the footage with an additional image of Aldine and his band performing outside the courthouse. The last major edit removes a clip from an unknown news broadcast about farmers dropping their crops to aid a friend in need. In the revised video, more footage of Aldini performing replaces the appearance of the man saying, it's what this community and a lot of farm communities stand for. Somebody needs some help. They'll get, why would he take that out? It's unclear whether Aldine or his management removed the clips in response to the backlash or the video, or if the clips were removed due to rights issues and possible requests from news channels. BS. They, re they removed these so they could get it back on TV. I'm, I mean, why else would you make the stealth edit now? And why would you edit those specific things? It's very, very suspicious. And again, you know, maybe Jason Aldean doesn't know about it, but I, wanna, I want you to watch how he markets this. If this suddenly appears back on country music television and he doesn't say anything about it, I'm going to lose a lot of respect and credibility for him. Because he already stood tall and said, I stand by my song. Why edit it now? Very fishy. This is what I worry about. I worry about people taking advantage of our goodwill. Um, you know, again, I don't think this was planned. I don't think country music television planned this. But if they're going to go back with their tail between their legs to get their music video back on TV, what in the heck are you standing up for then? Very suspicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it, and we'll talk to you again real soon.